is about our projects, humanitarian projects in Europe, how to go forward with that. Also, I would like to clarify some things about the reporting. And, uh, and then one last, one last point that I will tell you after, after we discuss the two first ones. Okay, so first thing is about our European project. As you know, we have launched uh, like two years ago, maybe. Yeah, two years ago at uh, uh, First Lady's event, I think it was. I remember well. Uh, our Ukrainian project. And uh, it was very nice. We were able to raise some nice, huh? 5,000 5, euros. And uh, also Korea sent more, and uh, we were able to help them and send them for a particular project, which was uh, how to counsel and help, uh, especially older people, older people going to the villages, people who had suffered uh, in the war, and how they needed to be. Uh, counseled by psychologists and doctors and so and helped by doctors and so on. So that was a, a nice project. Uh, we would like to know how to go on with this project because it's there, it's paused somehow. And uh, I would like to hear from you if you think we should go on uh, raising funds in different ways in our nations to uh, send to Ukraine and keep helping them in that way. Uh, we also have the 1% log share campaign that is related to Korea, basically, although they have given us permission, if I understand well, to use for different purposes. Mm -hmm. But I believe that uh, our desire is to help Korea somehow. Uh, unification of North and South. For the unification of North and South. As you know, through uh, the founders, they have uh, talked a lot and they have taken uh, several initiatives related to the unification of North and South. And uh, we have, not now, not here, but uh, we, are, we can find uh, a list of chronological initiatives done by the founders related to the unification of North and South Korea. I have recently read about it. I mean, I have read this list. I have seen this list, and it's just so impressive. And uh, so we need to be <coughs> thinking about it, how we want to go on. So I would like to ask you very briefly to share any ideas that you may have about these two projects, or if you think we should adopt another project for Europe. So if you would like to say anything about it, so we have Ukrainian project, we have 1% love share, oh, we, you have them here. Yeah. yeah, so my question is, shall we take off? Shall we oh, so we have here, or? Ukraine, mm -hmm. first 1% love share, then nationally, you have countries doing something for Africa, right? Not at the European level, not even uh, to Jordan. Okay. Yeah, that's national. But as far as Europe, we have we have been doing our mean we did Ukraine and one percent long share. So I, I, I should take off these other two, right? Um, those are not national. Which one is your domination? I mean, I mean Jordan and Africa. Should I take them away? Yeah, you keep it there. I think uh, some sisters here, they are interested in it there, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. so Brigitte, what, what were you going to say? Yeah, uh, well, personally, but one person now she wants to explain, propose maybe, uh, who knows about the one percent of share? Mm -hmm. Maybe the young one. Like uh, the one percent of share started in uh, 2001, I think, or 2002, in Korea. Um, after, at that time, the president, international president of Women's Federation in Korea, Dr. Lai Yat Han Moon, um, went a, a few times to North Korea. Uh, she herself came from North Korea and was a refugee, was a refugee or is a refugee to South Korea. 
she when she went there, she said so deeply, you know, um, touch. how you say, touch, 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 touch by what was going on in North Korea, seeing you know all these uh, people so skinny, so so miserable. Mm -hmm. So she went eighteen times, and so she started to 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 do this project first in Korea and then it expanded in different countries. The, the goal is to just give one euro per month, one percent block sharing, or one one or one or whatever, one thousand one or it was like this. So it's really the minimum one euro per month that we had it. Yeah? But somehow this project uh, was very uh, uh, inspired many other nations in America or in Europe. So we started to do it until 2008 when it very difficult for her to go to North Korea, you know, it was blocked, no more association could go. But still we keep going on to do 1% lock share, with always a hope that we can still go, because she was going to North Korea and helping some school, you know, like uh, renovating a school and giving some uh, some uh, clothes and so to some children and uh, women there, huh? but then it stopped. But, uh, and then this 1% lock share was after use uh, in Korea, still they carry on, but uh, for the victims of calamity or catastrophe mm -hmm. in some countries, like earthquake or whatever, in different countries like in Nepal and so. But recently, a uh, few years, we are seeking again how much we want this country of Korea to be united, right? Even though it looks like, oh la la, this is far away. But uh, uh, there is also a lot of North refugees, uh, North North Korean refugees, and uh, coming from uh, North to South. And uh, some countries started to support some school mm -hmm. that help these North refugees mm -hmm. to, um, how you say, to cope with mm -hmm. with uh, with the how you say with the scholarship or with the with the level of uh, student of uh, with the system of South Korean. So it's different, right? Mm -hmm. Even the language sometimes can be different, right? So that they can be integrated in South Korea. So that was an idea that would help for the moment because you cannot go to Korea, North Korea, even though we went in 2007 in North Korea. For some of us, we went there, uh, but uh, we, we cannot go. So we can support eventually this kind of uh, school in Korea, some they are doing, like in America or in Poland, they have been doing as well, I think. So we would like, personally, in France, we, those who are dealing for the 1% <coughs> lock share, they really want to support this kind of project more for North and South Korea unification. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing. Um, so we need to get more in touch, more in details, you know, which, which two schools to be supported in, uh, in South Korea, I mean in Seoul, that is possible to do. I mean, we yeah. need to get more information. Mm -hmm. But for those who want, I think it's a possibility. And also, I I read articles uh, from uh, South Korea that the president of uh, South Korea wants to make a special day for the North refugees uh, on the 14th of July. They want to make a specific day, you know, like um, to to say that North Koreans are Koreans. There's no South and North Korean. Mm -hmm. So I feel this is a very good uh, step yeah. to embrace because this is one of the things that we as a mother or even as the founder of the uh, Women's Federation said that we, we are able to, um, if we South Korean don't embrace North Koreans, mm -hmm. it's also no good. We need to embrace North Koreans. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's the, I think there's a way North Korea, but maybe one day it may happen that we can go to North Korea. And there we will help more. Yeah. So that's okay, the thank you. Thank you very much. So, so the point here is 1% log share campaign is 1 euro a month. No, only 1 euro a month. I mean, uh, people can give, yeah, can give anything, but uh, we, uh, we have to think exactly how we want to put this money aside yeah. and how to send it because, uh, yes, Nikki? It could be like 1% of your wage, you know, it doesn't have to be one euro. Oh, 1% of your wage. Yeah. So if you've got thousand pounds. I mean, you can <laughs> think, 
you can think what that one percent is. Okay, you can decide what that one percent is. And I want to tell you something very briefly. Long ago, uh, I learned about I I heard or I read I can't remember exactly about the uh, 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 independence finances finance account independence finance independent financing account something like that uh, and uh, what was that that was the idea that if every day you put one cent up aside you know you put somewhere one cent throughout the years that is building right and some people actually they made a lot of money doing that especially if you teach your children to do that and of course uh, when I heard about it my children were already grown up but if you start helping your children to save money from when they, they are young then at a certain point they will have a lot of, of uh, money and uh, it's the idea of saving a little bit every time I mean the minimum you can think of what that is or more or whatever you want to save but the idea of saving a little bit every every day every week whatever every month mm -hmm. anyhow that's it and so as far as the one percent love share i mean in general would you like to continue can you raise your hands if you want to continue with that mm -hmm. no i think this is the only way we can really contribute towards more yeah doing yeah mm -hmm. by now yes yeah, by now. yeah. Uh, North Korea is pretty much shut now, but we can contribute to the North Korean refugees yeah. in South Korea. Yeah. And uh, Is okay. that unanimous? Okay. Yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically. So how how, most, how yeah. should we pay to the uh, pardon? Should we pay to uh, UN Celebration Europe? Uh, yeah. We have to decide how to do it because it may be different amounts for different people. You have to decide which amount you want to give. Yeah. I think we, we pay to the European account and we ring fence it, and then we have an opportunity to vote for where we get the cash to. Mm -hmm. so, so if you, if you if use the you form on the website, it, it will show it's for 1%. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Nothing. you can see it in the bank statement. Yeah. 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 Yes, yes. Yeah. Is it this uh, money supposed to go just to the Korea, or you can use for Koreans, for example, in Europe, yes. to make events to unite North and South Koreans? Or, because there are associations of North and South Korean in Europe. I know in UK we have biggest uh, North Korean community. And, well, uh, I yeah. know I know that they, uh, the uh, international WFWP gave us permission to use that money for other projects, but we can decide here if we mm -hmm. want to save for North North Korea, or if we want to use it for different projects. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Different projects, but for unification, like North and South Koreans in Europe. Yeah, that countries. would be included there because it would be here in Europe, and uh, yeah. yeah. So what shall we'll we? See. Do? I have I have a thing to say. We ha we have a sister in Sweden, Vivica Freeland. And for the last few years, three maybe, she's been weaving certain rugs and for, for this 1% love project. So the person who buys the rugs pays, uh, I don't know, 50 euros, something like that. And then, uh, then the money goes to the 1% love pro project. But if I understood, she got some account, a bank account that she actually gave, and the person who buys the rug sends directly to that account he Which told me is, Did, i'm yeah. in europe i thought it was if it is in europe it should be our account yeah so i think i wonder how how it was uh, do you know about that does anybody no, know? I don't know i don't know anything about that but personally i think now it's only nationally that we have been doing nation by nation for example i get one person love share i get i still do it some people give me in cash some people give me in the account, women federation account, so um, then I separate the projects. This is for the moment more national, not yet in European. Yeah, I, I bought maybe. one of those rugs um, and I paid to the uh, Euro, um, Women's Federation Euro. She asked 
people to pay it to the, the Muslim Federation. Yeah, she got here, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, and then I remember I, I made a, I, I took a picture and sent to her yeah. and showed that I had paid it. Okay. So, yeah. so he asked me if you, I think this money was specifically allocated for women and children. They, they would keep a percentage, because at the moment the borders are closed, they would keep a percentage in the, like the income from money mm -hmm. for international factors. But the other money is used for natural disasters where children are suffering, where the women are suffering. So I think it's quite specific. But um, if you want to do something for Koreans living in Europe, I think it's a separate money, mm -hmm. as far as I understand. So you mean? Uh, to open, let's say, uh, a sub project for Korea, like but, uh, you have. But, but I understood that in Korea, because of now the border are closed, mm. so they use this pool, this one percent voucher to support uh, children and mm. women in catastrophic area. But if you want to uh, make it specifically for the uh, North Korea, you just have to mention it. One percent voucher. And if you want to send that money over there, you have to specifically say this is from North Korea or North Kentucky, you know, whatever, North Korean Kentucky. You have to say it. But they will give that money to support. Otherwise, they may use this one person in your share also for, for, the, for a different project. Okay, so what mm -hmm. if we agree? We have agreed on keeping this project, 1% large share campaign. Mm -hmm. And now, from uh, our side, we organize an explanation, a, a good explanation about what this money could go to, go for, and uh, and the people mark whatever they want, and uh, we prepare a form and send out, and people mark exactly what they want the money for. Because now to go here, you know what I mean? To go here and give one by one, it's a bit difficult. Yeah. So just uh, just knowing that, in, in your opinion, we should continue with this project, one percent love share. Yeah, is that good enough? Okay, thank you. So mm. the, <coughs> the other one is the Ukrainian project, and so what do you think about continuing or stopping it? Shall we continue it? Who wants to continue? Raise your hand. Actually, we saw these challenges on behalf of the Ukraine project. Okay. So, have I seen most everyone? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we'll keep it. So we'll, we just have to to feed it somehow to go on. Yeah. Okay. That's done. Okay. As far as reporting, as you know, we have to report. Uh, basically after every event we do that's what I'm asking you Ev after every event you do I would like you to report and then I will prepare now every two months uh, to send this report to the founder yeah uh, so what happens here uh, most not most some Sorry, some events are reported late. I must tell you, I will not count them because it becomes very difficult to be reporting on past events. So let's say for January and February, you can send, send me everything you have because next week I'm finishing the report preparation. And uh, on Wednesday or Thursday, I'll be sending this out to Korea. Okay, I would like to ask your help in one thing. Um, don't, wait, don't worry about dates except the date of the event. Because some people put a different date. I mean, the date of the event goes there, but then a different date for when they send it, a different date for when they write it. And uh, then I have the date on the on the mail of when it arrived to me so okay you need to uh, you need to fill in this form it's pretty easy really the only let's say 
Mountaineer, okay, Mountaineer, no date of death here. The region, the chapter, the chapter leader, okay, this is, uh, I'm always confused about that anyway. Then, okay, then date of event, this is what I want. Date of event, so if it's in January, that, that report will go in January, in the month of January. We have to change, actually, we have to change, uh, oh, no, no, we have to change, actually, I realized the other day, we have different uh, global themes now, and so we are not having, sorry, humanitarian efforts here, unless we want to add another line. Okay, so then we will send out the new form, then. So we need to send you the new form. Yes, Erika? So I'm just going to have to report after the activity of the event. After the event? I mean, that's up to you. But, uh, I mean, if I usually send out the event on the, on the last Wednesday of the month, you know, uh, you have, I mean, don't send me the previous dates, sincerely. I mean, I need at least three days before I send the email. So as soon as you finish your event, it's much better if you do that, as soon as you finish, because you remember everything, and uh, and then it gives me time to prepare. I mean, if all of you start uh, sending it the day before I, I need to send it, or the, uh, the previous day of the day before, so it's really, you have to think on, on what, uh, about what I have to do. Yeah, and I also have my events, yeah? Okay, that's one thing. The other thing you can help me. Um, another point. Of course, we come to the fourth Wednesday or Thursday of the month. And uh, I'm going to send every two months. So what happens to those events that come on the 29th, 30th, 31st? Okay? I'll include them in the following month. Don't worry. Yeah, I will, I will include them in the following month. All right, this is one thing. The other thing you need to, to do for me is, because the international office asks that, please use the um, Times New Roman font, size 12. Because otherwise I have to keep changing that for all the reports that come in. Some people will use Arial, others, Calibri, uh -huh. Calibri this, Calibri that, or whatever. So, Times New Roman, size 12, and then I don't need to change anything. Yeah? And don't forget, if you want your report in there, you need to send during the month. It's much better. During the month after you did the, you, you have the event. Okay? All right, second point. Done. Pretty easy, right? <coughs> okay, now the third point is more exciting. It's our, about our next annual leadership conference. And we need to know where we, you would like to have it. So we are ta taking uh, suggestions and then we are going to vote for them. Yeah? Just one suggestion. Okay. All right. The idea came just at dinner, at lunchtime, for breakfast. Because Vicky just asked, she just said, oh, it would be nice to come to your region. Yeah, of course, it would be nice also to have it in Moscow someday, but I think now it's not possible here for many reasons. But uh, just somehow the idea came about Armenia, for example, because maybe some of you maybe don't know if you're aware of Armenia. Yeah, this is Caucasus nation, and recently they also opened the chapter, not officially yet, but the sister, Nora, she, she's very active, and they are already a chef, yeah, they're doing many uh, humanitarian projects, yeah, for people, helping people, and there is no war there now, yeah, so there was war several years ago, yeah, so now it's pretty safe, I came now through Armenia here, uh, to Italy, and uh, we just called, uh, just during breakfast when this idea came, I just called, just to ask whether it's possible from their side, and they got so inspired, <laughs> these <coughs> national leaders of Armenia, yeah, so Nora and his husband, because he was next to her, just telling her, oh yeah, tell, tell, tell them that we have good hotels, five-star <laughs> hotels, we, have, we can organize sightseeing, uh, we can organize 
this and that. So anyway, I'm not pushing, but uh, at least... Uh, <laughs> yeah, and one good thing is, because we were also checking right away, like Kasia was very good at checking right away different things, because uh, nobody needs visa. Oh. Yeah, so all of you, basically all the countries presented here don't need visa. Uh, Russian people also don't need visa to come to Armenia. Only, only for Azerbaijan it's not possible to enter, but we have no, no chapter in Azerbaijan. Yeah, that's why, yeah, if, if you could consider this possibility, because it's a very beautiful uh, country, and actually it's the first country that accepted Christianity on a national level. Yeah. That's why there are many wow. historical places there and very beautiful nature. Mm -hmm. okay. Olga, don't hit. I want to ask you a question. Just as, you know, as a, another possibility if, uh, if Armenia doesn't work. Uh, what about one of these three countries, Estonia, Lithuania, and Lithuania? Uh, yeah, so the, so, yeah, there are no actually also active chapters there. Uh, Latvia, as I reported yeah. before, they have the program for elderly people. Maybe it could be possible, but I might not come because I still need Schengen visa or something to enter those countries now. Oh, yeah, okay. Before Russian people didn't need. Yeah. Yeah, that's why, I mean, okay. Yeah. But for everybody else, maybe it would be also interesting, but if those members at least, yeah, if they are, if they could be inspired and they can take responsibility, but the problem is that they have very few members. Okay. Yeah. And but we have five projects. I mean, we are doing with years. Finland okay. and Estonia. <laughs> okay, so all right, so we have one possibility, Armenia, right? Yeah. Okay, and any other? Any other? <coughs> what about no, Agri? Like yeah. Oh, yeah. Iceland. Yeah. Iceland. I can just say yeah. Oh, is it? Yes. Azerbaijan and had a workshop there for the Middle East. It was great. Very nice comment. I mean, good accommodation, very good price, and, and the right piece of the members are very supportive. That was Azerbaijan. I don't know Armenia. I imagine it's the same. And, uh, yeah, there are people who cost you five. Yeah. <laughs> and the, his point about it being the center of Christianity is very important. Yeah. To ask if there are any other suggestions, right? Any other ideas, Nikki? Yeah, the thing is, when we uh, had the Cyprus conference, we did ask for feedback, and then we had places like France, people who went to France, and then Germany, and a few European countries. But, uh, so those are also on the table. But people go to Turin. Do you remember? because we need to come to a conclusion, to, I guess, more or less. Yes, yes. there was a um, suggestion at the lunchtime also question about Turkey. Is Turkey. it possible to do with Turkey? Actually, we considered last yeah. time, but then there was the, what was it, the earthquake? Yeah. 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 I want to go to Lebanon. <laughs> 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 no, you can't. Yeah. 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 We were in Cyprus. I think if we want to change a little bit the environment and the region, yes, 
Yeah, I was just thinking because we've never ever done an event in Euro Asia apart from mm -hmm. Moscow that has an international that has a European mm -hmm. and we did it with the North Star here. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what about the weather like in November? What uh, we asked <laughs> yesterday we we, we, we yeah. asked Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We have to have a look at, at that, yeah, and see. So at least we are considering Armenia. Uh, could we consider another country in Europe, like Netherlands? No, Netherlands. Netherlands. Glory, yeah. Poland? 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 What about Poland? Ireland. 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 Yeah. Suggestion yeah. down and send it to us. I mean, Walker. with some information. Malta. <laughs> what do you say? Malta. Malta must be expensive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's very expensive. What about Portugal? Yeah. We've been there before. That was great. Oh, we've been there before. Okay. What about Bulgaria? Bulgaria. 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 Romania. Romania. Those countries are interesting countries. Actually. Yeah. yeah. We have Romania, Bulgaria, those countries are quite interesting. Oh, yeah. well, Romania now we have at least one sister who took yeah. responsibility and they have a very good national leader. Like yeah. She is Korean. No, she is. Ah, Japanese, sorry. But then because she studied in Korea, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, they're very supportive and they have very good young people. I think they, they have a good team. Yeah. Romania. Yeah. 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 Romania is What they are offering you to offering you to. <laughs> it's difficult. Yeah, I was there. So maybe Poland. Yeah. So Poland, Bulgaria. I mean Poland, Romania, Armenia, Ireland. Ireland. Yeah. That's enough. And the thing is when. The other thing. Because, of course, we are already in February, I think last time, for Cyprus, we started preparing it. Even before the end of the previous year. No, we started in May. We started in May. Really? Yes. Yes. But we started talking about it much earlier. August would be six months. So after August, September. Okay. October. October. Yeah, October. October is best weather. There is a best weather. Okay, so. Just one point about that. I don't know how it is in other countries, but in, in Cyprus, I, I, Zoe told me the reason you chose a certain thing was because it was when the season changed and it was cheaper. So I don't know the other countries, like, you don't want to go during tourist season because it's higher.
that's why I came to sit here. So. <laughs> She's going to say something about the curriculum education yeah. and her experience with it. Yes. No, I Good evening, ladies. Very happy to. I'm always very happy to talk to you. You're very accepting and loving and kind and. So um, the reason I'm speaking is because I'm the only one here that had experience with the curriculum. It's not that I'm such an expert, but um, I was involved in the beginning of building the curriculum, and uh, so it developed and went on. Anyways, I decided I wanted to give it to our Afghan women in uh, New Delhi, India. Uh, we have a, a program where we give them character education every week. And I did many, many things. I used lots of different kinds of material. And then finally, when this was formulized, I decided you know, I should at least do this. Um, I think that there's many things you have to consider uh, when you're using this curriculum. Actually, uh, first of all, you have to understand your audience. So this is very important. So the curriculum actually, I believe, is fit for developed nations or developing nations. And it's quite a difference in the audience when you're thinking about this. So um, also, there are single women and there are married women. So there are different uh, options. There's three main modules. And then if you look at the... the um, folder that's there, they have other uh, presentations also that are possible to give. So I chose only one of the modules, and then I chose two of the other presentations that were there because I was teaching developing nation. Um, for me, the third module has no purpose whatsoever. I, I have no way to use that. But the first module is excellent. That's about dignity of women. It's jam-packed with information. It's very well done. I mean, you, many of you know this material already. And it, the girls had a wonderful experience with it. So, uh, but I also used um, the Many Roles of Women, which was a very nice, simpler presentation that just went through all the different aspects of women and very well done and uh, we had good discussion, and then Pool of Love. And I used those two because I was talking basically to single women. And uh, the, the second module, you know, when we talk about the three modules, so this second module was not appropriate because they don't have families. Mm -hmm. But I did this empowering the self, and it was really very powerful uh, because it has a lot of opportunities for people to reflect. I really like the way she did it, you know. You give a question and then you give them a few minutes to reflect on themselves. And then if you want to have discussion, you can have discussion, but there's a lot of opportunity for give and take and to reflect on yourself. And this, I think, is extremely important because women don't do that. We don't think about myself. How do I think about myself? How, how do I see myself? Do I treat myself with dignity, or do I see myself as special, or what are my qualities or characteristics? So, um, so I really encourage you, if you use this material, you should really study it. First of all, I encourage you to use this material. <laughs> I was shocked when, when she said that I was one of the few people that used it. So I'm very surprised because we're all waiting and so many people are saying, when's it going to be ready? So I really ask you to study it. Get the link. I, I'm sure she sent out the link many times, but and study the material. You can take five slides from each presentation if that's all you can handle and work with it. You know, but I, I really... Yeah. Um, I really wonder. I thought she had talked to Carolyn, and she wasn't really clear about how we should. She? Uh, Zoe, because I was. I've been working on formatting the whole document the yes. last two months, and that's not the last version that's up there. But anyhow, the link is there on our Google Drive. Right. But she doesn't want to just freely distribute it. She wants to no, know we, we who's just there. Talked to Caroline, and she said what was 
was holding it up was just some, what did you say, some... Uh, Copyright? Yeah, no, they wanted to accredit you, said on the, something else that wasn't clear, but I talked with her the, the other day, and uh, and then she said it's all, it's all clear, because I asked, I told her I'm really confused, I don't know if I'm su supposed to promote it, or can we use it, or because I was all sorts of things being said, so she said, no, no, go ahead, use it and promote it, and so I wanted to include it in a newsletter, but I stopped it. And no, no, we want it, she says. And even sometimes highlight it on her page on the website, she says, or, or something like this. Because Zoe wasn't clear how she's going to distribute it, and I wanted to still have that discussion with you, if it's yeah. possible to actually do an online version that we can actually use instead of just the PDF, because we don't want to, we're not distributing the original PowerPoints, but a PDF version the whole document in PDF or five modules in PDF with the introduction on one module, ch um, chapter module one on the second, module two on the third, module three on the fourth, and there are, there's a lot in the appendix, and well, that's module gave five. If you me a PDF, I couldn't use it. Because yeah. a PDF can't be changed, yeah, and I, I can't use it as it's written. So Zoe wanted to then know who is going to be editing it and to get copies of all the edited versions and languages so that's where where our final discussion was and i think that that needs to be answered well when when i was given permission to use it big just asked me very clearly please give feedback and if you change it send me your the changed version well i was only getting stuff directly from zoe and from everything that was on the google drive and that was all formatted and is now in the final pdf document so I, I think that's... Yeah, but the original PowerPoint's in, in a separate drive and uh, in my Google Drive, I'm, I'm starting to delete all the original stuff because my, it, my Google Drive is full and I've, I, I pay for Dropbox. I'm not paying for, for Google Drive. So if you can put it all on, on the 150 Google gigabyte that you've got for Women's Federation and keep it there, then that's fine. Yeah. I, I think that would... I think that's a discussion. Yeah, well, that's what I, what I mentioned. I'm, it's not clear to me because if you're asking about the, the link, I haven't been given the go-ahead yet to share that link because Zoe still wanted to have those discussions. But if what you're saying, you talked with Carolyn and you're promoting Share It, I'll give it to everybody. But I thought Zoe wanted to know who got it. Yeah, she does. There, there is a little bit of a contradiction here. Yeah. That's under. And so I would re recommend something on the website where people register, and once they register, they get the access to the link, and then you get a name yeah, list with emails. What we have. If, you, if, you, if you go down here, then you have a form, and, and then this form goes to, um, it goes to Zoe. So okay, then if Zoe gets that list of all the ones who signed up, then yeah. that should satisfy her. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think so. And then she sends uh, the document that you can uh, alter a little bit or not. At the moment, that would only be the PDF version. The other extras would probably re need the extra communication, or I mean, I need to know where to put the original. If you have a PDF, can you hide slides? No. No. You can't. This is a problem. Yeah. I can. Yeah, I was just wondering this form, is this on the website, the big thing? Yeah. Would you just show yeah. it? Yeah, the form is on the website. Okay, it's so just... that you can ask for it. Yeah, so if you if you go into what we do, right? Mm -hmm. And then um, uh, what we do, then we wait a little bit. And then we contact. <laughs> and then here it says, Women's Peace Academy, Peace Advocacy Curriculum. Okay. Click, and then and then there is, it says a little bit about what it is. Yeah. And oh, and here is the also the video of that Priscilla when she gave the introduction, which was an excellent one, and uh, a PPT download, just the overview. And they'll be met soon. And then down here is the is the form. Okay, thanks. I just have a question for you. Uh, if we if, if you have easy access to um, to the website, I mean, 
They register and apply. No, because, because the, I just finished editing it yesterday. I mean, I've been working on it every day and there's another change comes every day. So the final version is now there. And as I said, that hasn't been cleared. But, but actually, it's much easier if it is a PowerPoint. Yeah, I mean, you can do it as a PowerPoint. So there, isn't that a problem? Uh, uh, yeah, for Zoe, the copyright was a problem. She didn't want to lose control. But I have to ask, didn't Albania do it? We got it, but of course we just no, 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 this, is, this is the curriculum final version, and it's all PowerPoint stuff. That's not the drive that I was working with, with the what dates are on there. That's not the final version, is it? What does it say? What? That's all the unformatted stuff. All the stuff in for one document for the curriculum. We wanted to. We agreed to have one format that can be read in one font that can be read universally, and that gives it a uniform image. So I went through and reformatted every single slide and page in that 450 page document. And I joined those 40 PDFs into one PDF. And then I made five separate modules out of those 45 pages. I don't see any PDFs. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the wrong, that's not the folder we were working with when we were editing it. Okay, so I will talk with Caroline again. I think that I really appreciate your work, and I think that's very important to have something as the base. And but also my experience with IEF material, there were also there were twelve modules that were all set up. They were all the same. They were all really beautiful and wonderful, but they gave people the option to change them. And uh, but I didn't. I would never go through and change the font or change. You know, maybe some pictures I changed because it wasn't fit for the Middle East, you know. But um, I think that in order to work with it, we have to be able to change it. I can't have all white people in my PowerPoint presentation with blonde hair and blue eyes, you know. And so, and I think all of you have this issue. So I think this point needs to be discussed, whether it can be, anyways, edited or... It's only the PDF because she, she told me you're asking for it, so I, she just passed on the link that I passed to her. Okay, so there it is. So you, oh, need you this. talk, right? I know. Yeah, yeah but I, I want to talk with Carolina. Um, I, yeah, has a I, 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 want, I want to ask something. When we did this uh, curriculum, the idea it was for the uniform curriculum. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't? Uh -huh. So if it was for the uniform curriculum, 
there is a lot of things that the people look in and if we change something we must ask uh, the, the people who started doing it. Mm -hmm. I think so. Because there is so a lot of work mm -hmm. and we, we take and think, okay, I can change there and can change. I don't think it's respectable for the, the one who... Oh, that was the final question that Zoe had to me to ask about the legal and the accountability for the for the authors and I suggested a, a particular document that we ask all of the editors of the document to sign to say and now I pass it over to Women's Federation and to their use as they see fit. Okay, I think but we, we haven't got that document to sign. What do we mean by change? Mm -hmm. yes, I don't yes. think we're talking yes. about changing the content. That's right. okay. We're translating mm -hmm. and maybe we're uh, mm -hmm. hiding some pages or we're only using part of it. Mm -hmm. You can use, you know, 10 slides out of 25 possibly yes. without changing the slide. It's said maybe we need to clarify this. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You know, what do we mean by change? Yeah. Because yeah. we have to translate it. Yeah. Right. Or, already you know? That. Yeah. So uh, that's changing it. Yeah. But we don't change the content. No. Carol? Yeah, or adding it to some program that you have yourself. Add you know that if you had your own program geared towards um, I don't think that would be possible. That wouldn't be appropriate. No. But all, also one thing we have been through. You can add our material to your presentation. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That's what I mean. But this is a great resource to have that base. Yeah, but you could use the information audience. from our PPT yeah. and make your own PPT and Yes, but yes. not change and the to, one that no, no, only, no, no, yeah. but to give credit, you know, yeah, and give credit to the source, to it, but then we yes. adapt to our situation. But also regarding the photos, we have been to yes. every photo in the curriculum to make sure that we own the copyright. Mm -hmm. So whoever, when if you change a photo, you you have to know that you own the copyright of the photo. Yeah, that's really you, good. That's yeah. Uh, to be your own, or you, or you have to have the corporate. Yeah. Um, I know that the ultimate goal is to publish and get ISBN numbers for the curriculum. So once it has an ISBN number, would it be possible to change it, or would it be like an adaptation for the Middle East or something like that? Um, if it's in a different language, then it gets a different code, a different ISBN. There's numbers for the for the yes. language. That one is clear, but um, when it comes to features being changed for the Well, I mean, the discussion is all about changing the curriculum, so I'm not sure. <laughs> no, we are not changing the content. Not to change the content, but also it's really that it's yeah. true that if we are going to use, we have to adapt a little bit like features and uh, yeah. some information and that, that are not fit for our statistics. region or our country. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you need to adapt to that. Not to change. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I think you need to make a, either you make a committee or you, you, you have meetings between yourself and make the decision. Zoe, Caroline, Rikus, and, and Lily, and Nitti, and somebody. Mm -hmm some group that make these decisions. I don't think we can, but you, you have feedback from us and yeah. you understand our concerns. And, and I think we also have to list down what is possible. Right, yeah. But what I, I really want to say is don't be afraid of this curriculum. Because sometimes when you look at it, you think it's too much for me. That's how I felt. But I really suggest that you study the curriculum. There's notes. There's all kinds of guidelines. They put so much work into this and it's very well done. So please study it. And then hopefully, if we get permission to even use just part of it instead of all of it, you can do that. And then you can you know, share these ideas because this is what mother wants us to do. She wants us to educate women. She wants us to raise them up to stimulate their original minds and to create, help them to become empowered women that can be, you know, uh, involved in society. So we need to educate people. 
We have, our job is not to just get people together and talk and listen to their ideas. Our final goal is to in, instill in them true parents' ideas, God's ideas. So I wanted to ask Marilyn, how did you got curriculum? Did you run through website or you went directly through the No, team? I then. You got the older version. <laughs> I asked Zoe, and Zoe said okay, and then Big Sister sent me a link, and before this form was made, because I was involved with the original creation, and then she wanted feedback. She said, please use it and see how it works. Old version, new version. I think for me, it's just get on with it. Yeah. Yeah. Get on with it. Six years. There are different old versions around, and I have used it already. So, yeah. And other people, I, made, I don't know, Marta, but I have used it. So, Marilyn, you had a question in the beginning that you were the only one using it, and it's not true. Marcia has used it. Kasha has used it. She has been more consistent. I had one session. Yeah, yeah, but still. So it has That's been. That's good. That's wonderful. But this kind of confusion is still a little bit of a problem, That's I feel. Right. I, mean, when, I think so. When we get hold of the final, final version, we will send a link, and along with that, we, we can list what, what is not possible to do yeah. and what is possible to do. Okay. Okay, thank you so much for this discussion, and uh, we'll have to get to the answer very pretty soon. And uh, thank you everyone for your input and investment, and uh, now we are uh, finishing for today our gathering uh, in terms of work. And we are going for lunch, and then dinner. Uh, dinner. <laughs> <laughs> for dinner. And uh, then we'll have entertainment. I don't know who is leading the entertainment. Uh, this is Simon. Yeah. Have you got volunteers? We got a few volunteers, but if you have. Inspirational right moment of creativity. It's open. Okay, you've heard it. Singers, dancers, painters, poets. Okay, you've got the information. So thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you. 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 Okay, have a nice time. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> 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 no, I was just going to say to make a mega go now.